it's of course heartbreaking when I see the messages of our students sending me asking for help either some of them who can get out of Afghanistan, either they're like so upset that like they call code to inspire as their second home and they're like they took, what if, if they took our home from us? certainly worried about um, if we would be able to keep the school open. And if we would be able to keep the school open, what, what are the rules um, from the Taliban side and, and how we can fit into that rules um, to make sure also that our girls are safe. My motivation behind founding Code to Inspire really was uh, because I was born as a refugee. I was denied accessing education, and I knew how important it is for women to access equal resources. I um, taught as a professor in the computer science faculty in Herat, Afghanistan. I studied there, and I faced a lot of backlashes, discrimination, verbal sexual harassments because it was a male-dominated field of study, and I didn't have a lot of resources. So it was was very strong uh, feeling for me to give back to my community. The average income monthly salary in Afghanistan is $150, and some of these girls make double or triple than the men in the family and support the community. It's certainly very concerning for a lot of people, but especially for women and young girls, because they're so afraid that either they would be allowed to continue their education or go to work or just like uh, very simple things that like people take it for granted, you know, just walk with friends outside, go to a coffee shop, have a cup of tea or coffee and like go shopping. These are like the very basic things that like now you don't know if you would be able to do that freely. Thank you.